Hi all. Today we are going to see two important theorems that we are use in electrodynamics. They are divergence theorem and the Stokes theorem. These two theorems are very helpful in converting one type of integral into another form. In the physical problems, mainly we are using three types of integrals. What are they? Volume integral, surface integral and the line integral. For example, charge is the volume integral of charge density. Current is the surface integral of current density. Potential difference is the line integral of electric field, etc. So, using this divergence theorem and the Stokes theorem, we can convert one type of integral into another type. First, we can see the divergence theorem. Divergence theorem gives the relationship between volume integral and the surface integral. The divergence theorem states that volume integral of divergence of a vector field over a volume is equal to surface integral of that vector over a surface which enclosing that volume. That is volume integral of del dot A dV where del dot A is the divergence of the vector A vector which is equal to surface integral of that vector that is A vector over the surface which enclosing this volume. So using the divergence theorem we can write the surface integral of a vector in terms of the volume integral. The second theorem is Stokes theorem. Stokes theorem gives the relationship between the surface integral and the line integral. Stokes theorem states that the surface integral of curl of a vector over a surface is equal to the line integral of that vector over a boundary of that surface. That is surface integral of del cross A ds. Del cross A means a curl of the vector A vector is equal to line integral of that vector over a boundary which cover that surface. So with the help of this Stokes theorem we can write the line integral of a vector in terms of surface integral. So this divergence theorem and Stokes theorem are very helpful in solving various physical problems. Divergence theorem uh, helps to give the relationship between volume integral and surface integral and the Stokes theorem gives the relationship between the surface integral and line integral. So on the left hand side we have the, the operator that is divergence on divergence theorem and the curl on the Stokes theorem and on the right hand side we have only the vector. Next, we can see the equation of continuity. Equation of continuity is based on the law of conservation of charge. In deriving this equation of continuity, first we state the law. Then we will write this law in the mathematical form. And in that mathematical form, we will denote the physical quantities as some integrals. Then depending upon which type of integrals involved there, we will use Stokes theorem or divergence theorem and we will reach into the final result. So what is law of conservation of charge? It states that the current through the conductor is equal to rate of loss of charge from it. Mathematically, we can write it as I is equal to minus dQ by dt. The physical quantities involved there are charge Q and the current I. Now we can write this I and Q as some integrals. What is current density J? Current density J is equal to current by area. So current I is equal to current density J into area. So we can write this current as the surface integral of current density over a surface ds. ds is the small surface. Then total current will be surface integral of j ds. Similarly, the charge density rho is equal to charge q divided by volume v. So here this q we can write as charge density rho into volume v. If you have a small volume dV, what will be the total charge? That will be the volume integral of the charge density over the volume dV. So, we can write current as the surface integral of current density and the charge as the volume integral of charge density. 
So here we can denote this Q as volume integral of charge density and the current as surface integral of current density. So I is equal to, we can write it as surface integral of J D S is equal to minus D by D T of Q is volume integral of charge density rho. Now we have written this law of conservation of charge into the mathematical expression involving the integrals. Which type of integrals are the surface integral and the volume integral? Which theorem is connecting the surface integral and the volume integral? That is divergence theorem. What is divergence theorem? Divergence theorem states that the volume integral of divergence of a vector is equal to surface integral of that vector. So here we have this uh, surface integral of current density that we can write as the volume integral. So on the left hand side using the divergence theorem we can write the surface integral of this current density as the volume integral of divergence of the current density which is equal to on the right hand side we have differentiation and integration both are acting on the same charge density rho. If we have both the differentiation and the integration simultaneously acting on the same function, we can change the order of that integration and the differentiation. That is, here we can first write the integral and then we can write the differentiation. Then it becomes minus integral of d by dt that is total derivative. Also, we can change into the partial derivative. So, in the minus integral of dou by dou t rho dv. This is volume integral. Now see this on the left hand side we have volume integral and on the right hand side also we have volume integral over the same arbitrary volume. So if we have the quantities over the same arbitrary volume we can equate the integrands also to be equal. So what is the integrand on the left hand side that is del dot j is equal to the integrand on the right hand side is minus do rho by do t. So this equation is known as equation of continuity. This is the equation of continuity. Therefore del dot j is equal to minus do rho by do t is the equation of continuity. Now for stationary currents, that means the charge density at any point within the region remains constant. What will be this equation of continuity? If the charge density remains constant, then this dou rho by dou t becomes zero. So what will be the uh, equation of continuity for stationary currents? That is del dou t j is equal to zero. So del dou t j is equal to zero is the equation of continuity for stationary currents. The general expression for equation of continuity is del dou t j is equal to minus dou rho by dou t. So we have seen the divergence theorem and Stokes theorem which gives the relationship between volume integral, surface integral and line integral. And with the help of the divergence theorem we have derived the equation of continuity as del dou t j is equal to minus dou rho by by dot t and for stationary currents we got del dot j is equal to zero. So in the next video we can see the Maxwell's equation there also we are using the same concept first we are stating one law then we will write it in the mathematical form then we will express it in as some integrals then we will use Stokes theorem or divergence theorem based on the integrals involved there then we will reach the Maxwell's equations.